Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have five bases that are really tiny. Bases that might be able to fit inside of a block or more that are hidden that most likely nobody will ever find. These bases are so small, you can't even find them with a magnifying glass. Maybe, now no, you'll probably be able to find them with a magnifying glass, but they're small enough, precisely this small. I will also list the mods that I use in this and actually the mods that I've used for a bunch of my videos recently. Uh, a lot of people have been asking a couple videos. I do post them in the description, but this one, I will for sure post them in the description. Good luck installing them though. It's kind of difficult because it's a bunch of different mods together. What is this water sound coming from? This is a dead giveaway. Obviously, someone will find a base if there's running water here. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, yeah, it was the zoo thing. I made a tiny zoo not too long ago and uh, <clears throat> didn't work out too well, as you can tell. First, hidden base is actually pretty easy when it comes down to it. You got to find a nice little hole at the bottom of a trench. I know it's very dark down here. But if we can get a nice three by three pixel hole inside this block here, we can actually slip down into this hole. Now, water can't go in between these tiny blocks. So if I can fit myself in here, as you can see, we are no longer in water. If I jump, obviously I will go into the water, but we can fall down straight through this hole and uh, we're fine. We don't have to hold our breath. Now I'm gonna go straight through this block, all the way down through it. We have to have it far enough away so that nobody can see the light coming from our house. Cause obviously there's no point in having it in a deep, dark trench if the trench is lit up by our base all right so i got through the block and i can't see anything <laughs> and uh here we are there's our hole that we made and uh glowstone here i just i don't want the entire glowstone block so i'm gonna break it really quick place some stone for the floor and then we'll have just one or two blocks of glowstone so that's quite nice and if we jump we can get right out you can still kind of see it so we might want to cover it up even further so what we can do is cover up that light with stone and just have it be a little cove and if we can make the cove long enough there's this hole so from the outside you can barely even tell it's there you can't even really see it completely hidden to the naked eye but to the trained eye it is an entrance to a beautiful base so i'm gonna place my lights all around and we can get to work oh god now i'm having trouble finding the base i left for a split second where is it um it's hidden so well i don't even remember oh there it is there's also when you're building these bases don't lose the base that's step number uno do not lose your base uh, i'm sure you'll never forgive yourself but once you have the base set up you just populate it with whatever kind of objects you want beds furnaces chests you name it and there we have it perfectly hidden underground uh water base you can definitely spend a whole lot more time making this absolutely crazy but i'll leave that up to you guys we're gonna move on to the next secret hidden base that your friends probably won't ever find Ever. Next up, it's kind of simple, and uh, I'm sure some of you might have already thought of it, but if you go to a forest where there's many, many trees, you can actually just find one and just start cutting a hole into it. This tree can now be your new house. Now, once you just have one wall, a really easy cheat is if you look at it and then middle mouse click, there you go. You can just duplicate the entire wall. And then uh, the same thing kind of goes for the other side. I already have a door in it, but you can use the saw to extend it out. And it just makes things a little bit easier, speed things up. You know, you don't want your friends coming along and make, checking out your base while you're making it. And now you can either do one of three things. You can make the base at the base of the tree. You can either go up and uh, make the base at the top of the tree, or you can go underneath the tree and mine down. For this instance, I think I'm just going to stay put right where I am at the base of the tree. I kind of like it. I have an idea. I'm going to close up this door and I'm going to make the door facing this way, only because there's less of a chance anyone will see it if it's facing a, another block like this. We can even make it even more secure by placing some dirt uh, grass blocks here and here. So there's only one way in and to the normal heighted traveler, you're, you're never going to see the door so that's great every essential your bookcases th there's also a light which uh could be a giveaway so you might not want to have lighting at all times maybe when you know that you're safe you can plop down a glowstone really quick but the lighting issue is probably the only way your base would get attacked or stolen or raided you don't want that do you Nevertheless, it is a hidden base and uh, you're probably gonna have a hard time and anyone would probably have a hard time finding it. On to the next base. Now for the next base, you're gonna wanna find 
a village. It could be any type of village. It could be a desert village like we have right in front of me, or it could be a normal village, any village really. And anywhere, there's a lot of buildings, many blocks that could be mined, maybe turned into a base or anything like that, you know. Once you get into the village, you want to find a base that it has a, an ordinary house with a table in it. One of those stone tables. One of the houses that doesn't have a chest in it, uh, when someone looks inside, they wouldn't be tempted to go and use any objects. So let's see, in here, perfect. There's no crafting table in here. Nobody would want to come in here. They would glance in here and run on through. But there's this slab table. When we shrink ourselves down, we can just go into the farthest corner and start mining away. And this can turn into a double block base very, very easily. Now, the benefit of having a base like this is the odds of someone actually finding it or even caring to look through this house is very, very low and they probably won't. You could have a two block house or you can even mine into the shell of the actual base and you could have the entire house be a hidden base, uh, which is really cool. The downfall of having a base such as this is that uh, you have to listen to the villagers hmm, and ponder their life's purpose all day. I mean, that's a drawback, but for that reason, nobody's gonna wanna come to this village at all however there is quite a bit of room in this we have the furnace crafting table a double bed because we, we're just that good we have that much space a chest double chest and we also can have a little peephole obviously nobody will ever be able to see us <laughs> i mean pro probably M maybe the peephole is a bad idea I'm not really too sure but you can maybe a little window that is a small window also you could have little villagers to help populate your house like watch this come on let me just get a fishing pole you can come into my house bro you can be you can be my uh you can be my little villager bro right come on man yeah there you go no not you i don't want the priest i want this guy i want the chef he could cook, cook cook food for me and stuff i'll be lit come on man you can fix maybe shave a little bit off there you go there you go hey and now uh if you don't want him to get out just uh Close the doorway a little bit. There you go. Yeah, you your very own little, uh, little leather servant. I don't know. Sure. You want to come in too? Everyone wants a piece. Everyone wants to hang out in this house. I mean, come on, man. Who wouldn't want it? This is probably the best Minecraft mod ever. You'll never be lonely. You have so many friends. Look at all my friends. All friendly and stuff. All right. Yeah. Anyway, thus the secret house is complete. No one will ever find it. The next hidden base is going to be in a pool of lava. Now, nobody would ever think about building a base inside lava, which we're not going to do. It's going to be underneath the lava. Now, there's a block in this tiny blocks mod called the lava block, and you can actually walk on it, and it's a little bit different than normal lava. However, when you break it, it turns into normal lava, but we can break into it, and that is the key factor. It'll be a little bit difficult to do this in a survival scenario, but doing it in creative is quite easy. Now, you can't really tell the difference other than this part that I messed up. There we go. But th this is our little lava block that we're going to be able to build inside of. And then all the other ones are just normal lava blocks. There's nothing we can really do about that. You can kind of tell, but it's good for you because you're going to be looking for it. You're going to be able to tell that this is our uh, lava block that we're going to be able to fall through. So we want to make this one little tiny layer of lava, and then we're going to fall into water at the bottom. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so surrounding me on all sides is real lava. Uh, other than this. Oh god, no, please. This is all real lava, and this layer right here is our fake lava. So, what we can do is we're gonna go down one. We're gonna see if we can get some water. Oh, we also have water blocks. That's convenient, actually. So, we're gonna fill this with water, and we're gonna take a few chugs out of this water block. I didn't even know that there was a water block like this in the game. That's surprising to me, actually. That's actually quite awesome. Okay, so now we have this layer of water, and we just gotta close up the layer of lava on top. And honestly, you won't be able to really tell the difference. Now, if we shrink ourselves down, you can tell a little bit that there's something up with this lava, but we could fall through, and then we fall through lava. It stops the burning, and now we are in our underground base, completely protected by lava. No one in their right mind in Minecraft would jump into a pool of lava, except for us because we are big brain, super smart, and they are dumb, dumb, bad friends trying to steal our diamonds. How could they do that to us? No, this is epic base, absolutely epic. Now all we gotta do is add all the stuff that makes it a super sick house that everyone's gonna be jealous of, everybody, especially Jeremy. He's going to be ultra jealous. Another bonus to this base is no issues with lighting, even at nighttime. 
because lava gives off a natural glow anyway you can have all the lighting you want there's not any issues with that also i can change my game mode to survival and i can show you that this works pretty well you get a little bit a heart and a half of damage but you can get in pretty easily access anything you need and then hop right out and uh there's no water on the other side so that might be a little bit of an issue uh but i don't think it'll be enough to kill you just touching lava for a split second it's quite dangerous but what is your items worth to you please don't there we go i think they're worth nearly all my life getting in and out of my base but i'm sure if uh you have the right armor this base could be the perfect solution for you on to the last base and this one's going to be even crazier now for this last base you're gonna want to find a nice cave and we're gonna find something let's see maybe in this corner right here just like not a cave that someone's gonna want to go into but a cave that someone might look at and just say oh that's not really much i don't really want to do much with that okay so we're gonna go dig straight down from here all the way down oh perfect we kind of we hit water i don't know if we're gonna really want water here though we need to go down deeper 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 all the way down as deep as we can go hopefully we don't hit lava and hopefully we don't <laughs> let's pretend that did not happen okay so we get all the way down here and we are met with bedrock, which is exactly what we want. We're going to cover up all the holes that we made, even in the caves and all that. Preferably, if you don't hit a cave, that's probably going to be ideal because then you won't get found out. Um, but we want to make this in a remote location anyway. So up, up, up all the way. Now at the top, we're going to want to make a nice hole right in the corner of the block. Nothing too crazy. Kind of like the first base we made, but yet not the same. Now we have a hole straight through the rock. But what I want to do is hold shift and middle mouse click on it so that we can duplicate this one block. And we're going to have this three pixel by three pixel tube that goes all the way down to bedrock. I doubt anyone's going to find this one. And once you get far enough down, you can actually break into the block a little bit. I'd like to do a little ring of glowstone so it lights up our path a little bit. I can actually, it'll help you see what you're doing. And uh, we're going to shift right click to duplicate that version. And you can shift the middle mouse button to duplicate that. And there you go. It's going to be a whole lot easier to place these blocks all the way down to bedrock. Now from the top, if you're in survival mode and you're shrunken down to a peanut, and you fall all the way down, you will be absolutely fine. And you can start to make your new hidden base at the bottom of this trench. And there you have it. Most of your base is pretty much covered by uh, bedrock. Unfortunately, you can't really break into bedrock and survival. How do you get up to the top, you ask? I know you're wondering it. Well, you could just have a giant pillar of water. If you duplicate the blocks as you go down, it does take a little bit of time to get up and down but uh, it's certainly pretty quick, especially with water. And once again, the question arises, what is your items worth to you? Is it worth saving them? Is it worth protecting them? If so, this is what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive out here. And as you can see, it didn't, it didn't really take all that long. There you go. And just like that, you're out. And this is the only thing that they can see. You look in this cave and you're like, hey, that's boring cave. I ain't even going in there. There's not even any ore in there. Why would they touch it? You gotta think outside the box a little bit. Shrinking potion. And uh, you wait a little bit, have a nice little trip down, and eventually you'll be in your super ultra secure base that no one will ever find. That's five out of five, baby. What's next? Another idea is you could have a little hole somewhere along the lines uh, of the base and have the one at the bottom be a decoy. That's even more big brain stuff for you. That is all the hidden bases I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell. I upload every other day. I appreciate all of you. I hope you enjoyed. I'll take any suggestions what you guys want to see next in the comments. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace later.